The what do you say to the person who nearly ended your life? One young woman had a chance today as she addressed the man who opened fire at Freeman High School. And her parents shared the horror that still haunts them today. I still tell my kids I love and love them and kiss them goodbye every morning before they leave for school. But now all I can think about is if that is the last time I will ever get to do that. This will never go away, Your Honor. Caleb Sharp will listen to these and many more as he waits to hear his fate. It's been five years since Sharp opened fire on his classmates at Freeman High School, killing one student and injuring three others. Before a judge decides how long Sharp should spend in prison, he's listening to statements from the people whose lives changed forever. What we heard today from one family story, five years does not erase the pain and horror of that day. Tonight at six, Eleni Dow takes us into the courtroom as the family shares their emotional plea. Hearing Caleb Sharp's sentence is a long time coming for victims and the Freeman community. Today's pleas are emotional. We aren't allowed to show you video of the victims in court. However, the student who suffered through the shooting says memories from that day will live with them forever. September 13, 2017. The day I was miserably forced to grow up. Jordan Goldsmith was only three weeks into her freshman year when Caleb Sharp fired a gun down a third floor hallway at Freeman High School. Jordan was hit along with two girls she's been friends with since preschool. Today in court, her dad recalled hearing the news. And all I remember were the words, Jordan's been shot. They didn't know if she was alive, but immediately feared the worst. Jordan dead at school in a place she was supposed to be safe. Your Honor, this pain is indescribable. The agony, a broken heart is not a saying. It is a feeling crushed. Jordan's mom, Liz, saw a tarp when she entered the school, afraid it was her daughter, but then... I love you, Mom, and it was Jordan. Real, deep, voice, strong, her voice. When Jordan went to the hospital, she told her mom something she can't forget about the boy who shot her. He was a nice boy, mom. Caleb, do you hear how Jordan described you after you shot her? Sharp listened as the Goldsmiths replayed every agonizing detail of that day, hoping the judge will hand him a life sentence, the same one they'll have to deal with for the rest of their lives. You are worthless to me. You are nothing but a murderer who should rot away in jail. You have no business walking on this earth after what you've done to me, my friends, my family, my community, and especially Sam. The victim impact statements have been going on for months and will continue into August when Sharp finally hears his sentence. Of course, we will continue to follow this and his sentence. In studio tonight, Eleni Dow, 4 News Now.